Hey everyone! So this video is about five and a quarter inch USB floppy drives which supposedly cannot exist and we will see if that is true. Um, USB floppy drives are pretty convenient, right? You can take your old DOS floppies and you can essentially plug it into any computer whether it's a MacBook or a Windows, modern Windows computer and you can read and write them. So that's pretty convenient. I really appreciate the possibility to read these old media. And I was uh, thinking about how cool it would be to have some sort of a portable USB quarter and a five inch floppy drive. Um, so people told me and I read up on the internet that it's not possible because USB, like the when the USB drives came out, the quarter and a, the five and a quarter inch floppy drives were already pretty obsolete and old. So the industry only focused on these uh, smaller portable drives. So now um, I was thinking, hmm, is it really impossible? And I read up, yeah, there are some some boards that you can hook up and then with special drivers, you can read these, these floppies. But I wanted to have the native experience, just plug it in, like knowing the possibility to just plug it in in any computer and read these old floppies. So um, I thought, well, let's try it out. And I searched for very old um, three and a half floppy drives. And um, what I did is to rip it apart <laughs> and see if I can use just the controller board to um, connect a big quarter and inch floppy to it and see what happens. And it turns out it kind of works, uh, which was pretty surprising to me, uh, to be honest, because I didn't expect anything. Um, and until now, I haven't been able to make it work easily and natively under Windows. But what definitely works is you take this, um, this big floppy drive, connect it to the, to the little controller board in this, and then you plug it in into a modern computer and you can boot up your old quarter and uh, five and a quarter inch uh, floppy disk. So you can boot into DOS, you can copy on the, you can read and write to these media. So this tells me that hardware wise, it has to work. Um, I haven't been able to figure out why it doesn't work on Windows. I have a hunch, but I really hope that by this video, I can kind of uh, uh, get help from you, uh, other people out there who are tinkering out with hardware, because this is how far I got. and I want to first uh, show you how, um, how this looks when I plug in my, my drive, which I put into an external uh, housing so that it looks really cool. Um, yeah, and so here's, it. here's what happens if I turn on my computer and boot from uh, my old floppy disks.
So, um, you could see that this good old drive uh, hooked up to the, to the USB controller, plugged into the computer, it could read, write, stuff, boot, uh, you could copy files, uh, still work. So, it definitely hardware-wise can write to the, to the media. Um, what was interesting is that in system info, it, it said floppy uh, 1.2 megabytes. So, it recognizes a five, um, five and a quarter inch floppy drive, although in the BIOS itself of the computer, I cannot select this. So there seems to be some sort of automatic recognition that this drive is not a three and a half inch uh, drive as it should be because the, the USB controller essentially was part of this three and a half uh, inch drive. So that's interesting. Maybe that's even kind of the, one of the, um, the reasons why it works on the DOS, but maybe not under Windows. So now let's have a look what's inside this box. Uh, so I will tell you how I got the components and how I could hook them up um, together so that it works. All right, so I started out with this um, three and a half inch uh, floppy, USB floppy drive. So regular type A connector. Um, this one is actually a bit newer. So this model is from 2007. And I tried with this one, it didn't work, um, but I just wanted to show you how, how this looks like. So it's um, from NEC and the model number that I needed is uh, an older one actually. So this one is the, the model UF0001, while this is the newer. And this older one is from 2000, September 2000, and the product number is 19666001. And if uh, you open this up, then you have a kind of um, a separated design. So here you have the, the controller board. And then the other part that I removed now is, um, is actually just a very simple um, three and a half uh, inch floppy drive. And this is uh, connected to the via, via this flex cable. And um, when I searched around uh, regarding this um, little flex cable, I found out that this is kind of a standard uh, design, so there is there are adapters for it. And I took this adapter and this is actually how it looks like. I can put in the the, pro, the part number and the description into the, um, in the description of the video. So as you can see, here you simply got the flex cable comes into this part um, of the connector and then this is just the connecting to this regular shoe guard uh, connector uh, that we all know. And then I tried out how, how this works with a regular three and a half inch drive. So I connected it here to USB type B connector. And here, uh, instead of this internal floppy, I took a normal three and a half inch floppy connected with the, uh, the ribbon cable and it worked perfectly. And then was the interesting part where I took our beloved five and a quarter inch drive and I connected the two of them via USB. And uh, at first I tried in Windows and I could see that the drive is doing something but it couldn't recognize uh, any floppy disks. Uh, but then I, I tried out in, in DOS, so I tried to boot from the floppy drive and uh, then I figured out, wow, this actually does work. And then I continued to tinker around because I wanted to have this nice external portable drive. So what I got, what I got here is, I think it's a, it was a SCSI uh, streamer. I'm not sure if it, it was a streamer or a CD-ROM drive, but it has a built-in um, PSU and uh, a bay for five and a quarter inch uh, drives. So I plugged in the, um, the Molex connector for the power and uh, I took this short, <laughs> I shortened this cable. It's pretty hacky this design, but if I connect it and I plug it here, a USB B type connector, then as you've seen, everything works out. So I can stuff here everything in. It's a bit juggly, so I need to kind of make this a bit sturdier. But anyway, yeah, this is the, the internal design. And um, 
yeah, now I will show you what happens if we boot this up in Windows, what it does recognize and what it doesn't. Okay, so everything is set up. Now I will plug in this USB drive. Let's see what happens. Okay, it did some noises and here it appears as a NEC USB drive. Let's see what the Explorer says. It's a uh, drive A. Unfortunately, with this icon, it indicates that it recognizes this as a three and a half inch drive. So what happens if I put in a regular HD floppy disk? It doesn't recognize any of them. doesn't matter if it's a old game disk or or if it's a floppy that I, uh, I kind of formatted in an other computer. But uh, where I had my first success was when I put in this disk. So it's this old game, old Imperium. And um, if you put it in, you hear the, the sound and you can see, ah, it gives the table of contents. So obviously it can read the file allocation table. Unfortunately, I'm not able to copy any of these uh, files. So if I try to open or to copy to the hard drive, it simply gives an error. So, hmm. At first I was happy that I got any results, but then I tried to kind of narrow it down what, what's the drive could read and whatnot. So I now will insert a empty, freshly formatted uh, floppy that I formatted on my other DOS PC. And it's a double density floppy. So let's see what happens. Surprisingly, it says it's empty. Typing is difficult. Okay, so it's an empty drive, nice. So what I will now do is use this old copy con and I will type hello. So this now creates a text file on the floppy and you can see it's five bytes long. And it appears also here in the Explorer and I can open it with the notepad, it says hello. I can now change it, hello world, save this. Okay, and I can copy it to the desktop where I can open it again. I can say hello world two, and I can copy it back replace and if I type one so you can see it works you can read write okay so I was very happy when I saw this unfortunately if I try to copy another file it breaks and if I try to make a longer text here so let's copy and paste this a few times. So after the file gets a few kilobytes big, and now I say save. Okay, this seem, seems that it worked. I don't know, you can hear the drive is doing a thing. And now this will continue for a few minutes. Um, Yes, so my theory is that somehow the drive has a problem, like the controller has a problem, or to be even more precise, probably the driver is uh, the source of the problem. It thinks it's a three and a half inch drive and therefore it kind of cues the commands in a different way. And it tries to probably create in the file allocation table a new entry and that fails because it's differently 
kind of structure than a, a five and a quarter inch drive. Um, I tried to plug in the, the drive into an older computer of mine, which runs Windows 98, which of course supports uh, five and a quarter inch drives, but that didn't help either. It always recognizes this as a three and a half inch floppy. So what you could see while I was in DOS booting from, from a DOS floppy, uh, like a boot disk, um, it somehow managed to figure out that, oh, this seems to be a five and a quarter inch drive, but under Windows it says, yeah, three and a half inch and tries all the various things. Um, I also tried to to change the jumpers around on the on the drive itself, but it actually didn't help at all. So here's where I'm stuck, and here's here's my hope that someone in the community who has a deeper understanding uh, from what is going on with these uh, commands and uh, drive commands and drivers maybe has an idea uh, how to proceed from here. Um, I would also be able to to pack up the drive and send it to to anybody. Uh, for further analysis. So let's hope at, for that at one day somebody comes up with a smart idea and then we could have finally our USB five and a quarter inch floppy drives. That would, be, that would make me very happy. <laughs> so let's see how things proceed. Thanks for watching and goodbye.